All right, are you ready here for Midwest Brouhaha 2017 game number 19? We've got the Houston Roller Derby All-Stars going up against the Grand Raggedy Old Roller Derby All-Stars. All the stars will be shining tonight on track number two here at Midwest Brouhaha 2017. I'm Bobby Narco. I'm on the microphone with Tally Wacker. Hey, Bobby. Tonight, skaters um, for Grand Raggedy Roller Derby All-Stars will be 00, zero Bet Mangler, 02 Double Clutch, 14 Gypsy Rose, 15 Ash Ketchum, and then Ultra Fox, number 17. 22 is Peach Clobber, Captain Hawaiian Punch, number 29. Number 45 is Ginger Ninja, 69 is Bitty Bitty Bang Bang, 74 BB Queen, 75, Venasty, 77, Lucy Morals, 83, Ringo Death Star, and 91, Sugar Pants. Who's coaching those Grand Raggedy All-Stars? The coach for the Grand Raggedy All-Stars is Lil Haha and Luda Leveler. All right, and they're going up against the Houston Roller Derby All-Stars. Houston ranked at number 34. They've got triple zero, Black Long Betty. Number 17 is Accu Puncher. Number 19 is Betty Watchett. Number 201 is Dutch Destroyer. Number 21, Jekyll and Heidi. Number 215, Payo Dues. Number 3, Speedo. Number 31, Two by Force. Number 43, oh, Two by Force is your captain. Number 43, Diamond Cutter. Number 69, Death by Chocolate. Number 751, Hot Assets. Number 79, Daisy Jukes. Number 900, Engen. And number 91, Slayer Moon. Coaches for the uh, Houston Roller Derby All-Stars are Snickerdoodle. She will be wearing the A, and she's joined on the bench by Carl and Dexter. Snickerdoodle. That makes me want a cookie. <laughs> hey, who are our non-skating officials, BJ Tallywacker? Our non-skating officials for this game are Silken Tofu, who is the crew head on SO as well as the penalty tracker. Our jam timer will be Private Itchy. Penalty Wrangler is Sasquatch. Penalty Box Manager is Sweetie Pie. And we have Tuck and Roll as a Penalty Box Timer along with Rex Support. Adam Smasher will be a scorekeeper. Roll Bar will also be a scorekeeper with Dragon Harass on the scoreboard operator. Did I say that right? Dragon Harass. <laughs> Aggie Battery is the lineup tracker. And Chunk is also a lineup tracker. Fill in the blank will be the lineup spotter. All right, and your referees tonight. On the outside, we have Herself the Elf, Gal Jazeera, and Phil Doe. Our jammer referees are Eddie Lizard and Colin M. Fairley. Inside pack referee is Thacko, to hit armor class zero. And the crew head referee is Werner Von Bond. The referee alternate helping us out with uh, official reviews and official timeouts is Tilo. We're about four seconds away. I think we timed those intros perfectly. Yeah. BJ Tallywacker, who's on the jammer line? We've got Ultra Fox, number 17, jamming for Grand Raggedy, and Engine, number 900, jamming for Houston. And here we go. Track cut is called on number 351. Oh, number 91, green 91. That's Slayer Moon. No, that is Sugar Pants. And Houston has lead Jemmer. 900's lead. Jam called off before Grand Raggedy could score. Houston did not score either. Nothing, nothing. One jam in. Still scoreless. We've got Slayer Moon, number 91, jamming for Houston. And it looks like Ultra Fox, number 17, is jamming again for the Grand Raggedy. Grand Raggedy's got one skater in the penalty box. That's Sugar Pants. Houston is at full strength. Here we go. Yeah. 
Lucy Morals is actually the jammer for Grand Raggedy. Sorry, we got some bad information for you. Correcting it now. Lucy Morals, the Grand Raggedy jammer. Three points picked up by Houston. No points for Grand Raggedy. First blood goes to the Houston All-Stars. Three zip. We've got Diamond Cutter, number 43, jamming for Houston. Grand Raggedy's jammer will be... Ginger Ninja, number 45. Here we go. That right L penalty box is empty. Both teams are at full strength. Lead jammer goes to Ginger Ninja. And she called it. Oh, we got a forearm penalty at the very end of the action on black number 201. That is Dutch Destroyer. Dutch Destroyer will start the next jam in the penalty box. The score is now 3-0, 3 Houston. We've got Daisy Jocks, number 7-9, jamming for Houston. And Ash Ketchum, number 15, jamming for Grand Raggedy. I believe that's Daisy Jukes. Hooks and Jukes, like Daisy Dukes. It's Daisy Jukes. What did I say? Jock, jocks. <laughs> and Daisy Jukes picks up Lee Jammer. In the back of the pack like a steam train and getting on through. That is a, uh, a an all about derby grand slam for Daisy Jukes. <laughs> Penalty box empties out and the jam gets called. Four more points picked up. Uh, nine point nine points picked up by Houston. Makes the score 12-0 in favor of the Houston All-Stars. I guarantee you whoever wins today will be the All-Stars. But one of them will be the All-Stars with a hyphen, and one will be the All-Stars without a hyphen. Number 900, NGen is jamming for Houston. And number 17, Ultra Fox is jamming for Grand Raggedy. Here we go. All black at the top of the pack, all green at the back of the pack. Now number 29 comes up to play Wrecking Ball. That is Hawaiian Punch, kind of punch away through for her jammer. High block is the call. Who's leaving? That is blue number 83, Ringo Death Star on the high block. Lead jammer goes to Engen. Direction of play is the call on black number 21. That is Jekyll and Heidi. New jammer for Grand Raggedy is Gypsy Rose. Sweet move by Gypsy Rose. Pirouetting through the pack and picking up four points. Two points picked up by Houston. So, Grand Raggedy's on the board, and Houston picks up six, scores 18 to four. A lot of roller derby action going on. Still some more derby left after this, but are you having a good time here, in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin? I'm having a good time. I'm especially excited to see Slayer Moon, number 91, jam for Houston. And number 22, Peach Clabber, jam for Grand Raggedy. Huge hit at the top of the pack by number 19. That is Betty Watchett. Lead jammer goes to Slayer Moon. Too far out in front, they have to let her go. Four-point pickup by Slayer Moon, and she calls off the jam before Peach Clobber can score. Four points, 22 to four. Yeah. 
Still a lot of time left to play. Just over 23 minutes in this half. So about 53 minutes of derby left. Anybody's game. We've got Diamond Cutter, number 43, jamming for Houston. And number 77, Lucy Morals, jamming for Grand Raggedy. Here we go. Direction of play is the call on the black pivot. Uh, hot assets. Black 3-1 elbow. That's two by force. Nice hit. Who was that? Number 215, Peo Dues. Gets called for what? A stop block? Stop block on number 215, Peo Dues. That's a direction of play penalty. Black 17 sent off. I didn't see the call. She got a low block. She got a low block. Low block is the call on Black 17. Oh. Acupuncture. Yeah, yes, right. New jammer. For the black team is Hot Assets. And the jam is called before Hot Assets can even don the star-spangled helmet cover. Heck of about 22 to 8. Grand uh, Raggedy doubled their score on that last set of whistles. BJ Tallywhacker, who's jamming? Our jammers for this jam appear to be Ultra Fox, number 17, for Grand Raggedy. And for Houston, we've got Daisy Jukes, number 79. Here we go. No pack. They have to let her go. And Ultra Fox claims lead jammer. Nice blocking by Ash Ketchum, forcing the jammer to the outside. Direction of play is uh, called on Peyo Dues. Peyo Dues to the Rydell penalty box on a direction of play foul. Jam is called. Five more points for Grand Raggedy. Six more points for Grand Raggedy. And look out, seven more points for Grand Raggedy. 22 to 15, roughly a three to two margin. We've Another got, seven point jam will tie this game. We've Peace. got number 45, Ginger Ninja, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And number 900, Engen, jamming for Houston. Houston's got three blockers out there. Grand Raggedy's got four. Both teams have a jammer eligible to score. Nice defensive formation that looks like a wedge of Wisconsin cheddar holding those jammers back. Track cut is the call on Engen, so this will be a all about Derby power jam. Oh, but we got a low block. Who's leaving on the low block? Low block is number 29, Hawaiian Punch. Lead jammer has been awarded to N uh, to. Ginger Ninja. Direction of play is the call on Grand Raggedy's double clutch. So she will head to the Rydell penalty box. And no points that last set of whistles. Let's do it again. Looks like we've got Engine number 900 jamming for Houston. And for Grand Raggedy, we have jamming Lucy Morals, number 77. And Jen going to start in that Rydell penalty box. From the penalty box and into lead is Engen. But about three strides behind her is Lucy Morals. Enchan calls off the jam. How many 0-0 zero, zero jams in a row is that? Zero. Two, zero, two nothing, nothing jams in a row. 
We're looking to put some points on the board. Hey, you can get a uh, any Brouhaha team video, you can order the game on DVD at the Bruiser's Merch Booth, and your DVD will be mailed to you within the month. So head on up to that Merch Booth if you want to get a DVD of any game you've seen this weekend. BJ Tallywacker, who's jamming? For Houston, we have Slayer Moon, number 91. For Grand Raggedy, we have Ginger Ninja, number 45. And the lead jammer is uh, Slayer Moon. Houston has not scored in the last four jams, even though they have the lead. Slayer Moon's going to see if she can put a stop to that, and she already has. Four whistles blow before Grand Raggedy could score any points, and that stops the scoreless skid for Houston. Those three points put a 25-15, to 15, a 5-3 to three margin. B.J. Tallywacker, who's heading out to that jammer line? Well, let's see. For Houston, we've got number 43, Diamond Cutter. For Grand Raggedy, we have number 17, Ultra Fox. Here we go. And Death by Chocolate is your lead jammer. That, it looks like a Rollercon Grand Slam for Diamond Cutter. Big block by number double Zebel, Betty Mangler. We've got a multiplayer coming in from the inside. That is the Houston Pivot, Black Lung Betty on the multiplayer block. New jammer for Grand Raggedy is Peach Clobber. Diamond Cutter's already got two Rollercon Grand Slams. She's going back for more. Just Carl being able to communicate very well with his team and uh, able to tell her to call off the jam. Nope, what happened to the scoreboard? So, okay, a little scoreboard difficulty. There we go, 38 to 15, 13 point pickup in that last jam by Diamond Cutter. She now leads all scorers because of that 13 point jam. B.J. Tallywacker, who's jamming right now? We've got number 77, Lucy Morals, jamming for the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. We've got Daisy Jukes, number 79, jamming for the Houston All-Stars. Both teams working those triangle defenses. It's Wisconsin. Get yourself a wedge of cheddar. <laughs> nope. Lead is still open. Nope, not anymore. This jam will go the full two minutes. Lucy Morals is the new, uh, sorry, Hawaiian Punch is the new jammer. Back block is the call on number 79, Daisy Jukes. Blocking with the head is the call on Hawaiian Punch. So uh, she will get to serve a discounted penalty as Daisy Jukes gets released immediately. Hawaiian Punch will only have to serve as long as Jukes did. She's already uh, standing. Both teams regrouping here on the home stretch, preparing for the jammers to enter the pack. Nice blocking by that black pivot on the inside. That's hot assets. Forearm is the penalty on the skater that's leaving. Ringo Death Star on the forearm. Forearm. 
Nice move. Huge hit by Van Nasty. Got a direction of play gameplay penalty on that hit, but she also knocked the other jammer into Kingdom Come. So sometimes, sometimes it's worth it. 52 to 18, extending the uh, lead roughly a 3 to 1 margin. A 14 point jam put up there uh, by Daisy Jukes. So she's again the lead scorer, and that's the highest jam of the game. Looks like she's had the highest jam and the second highest jam. Looks like we've got a little timeout going on. You know, Jackson Skate Packages have everything you need for a great price. Four options under $275, including heat molding, atom wheels, and the Pilot Raptor plates. Visit the Atom booth for your next upgrade in skates. This timeout is uh, charged to Grand Raggedy, their first of the half. Grand Raggedy came in ranked number 73. Houston came in ranked number 34 by the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Statistics today are being brought to you by Rinkster. R-I-N-X-T-E-R. Rinkster, Rinkster, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Much love to our NSOs operating the Rinkster statistics. And, of course, our producer is Daddy Pants. He's manipulating those statistics so they make sense to me. And BJ. We've got Ginger Ninja, number 45, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And Engine, number 900, jamming for Houston. And lead jammer goes to Engine. Ginger's working hard to get through that pack. And she goes inside. She goes outside. Two by four sleeves on a forearm. And that is a Rolicon Grand Slam for Engen. Blue picks up one point, black picks up four. Score is 61 to 19. Oh, another point, 61 to 20. Slayer Moon, number 91, will be jamming for Houston. And Lucy Morals, number 77, will be jamming for Grand Raggedy. So in 14 jams, Houston's got lead jammer nine times. Grand Raggedy's got lead jammer four times. And there was one jam without any lead jammer. Lead jammer now is Slayer Moon. Oh, what a move on the outside. Sweet move by Lucy Morals. Picking up four big points. Both teams pick up four points, and the jam is called. Sweet skating on the outside by Lucy Morals. That brings the game total to 65 Houston, 24 Grand Raggedy. Ultra Fox, number 17, will be jamming for Grand Raggedy. And Diamond Cutter, number 43, will be jamming for Houston. Pivots are going to be Hot Assets and Gypsy Rose. Blockers are Betty Watchett, Dutch Destroyer, Jekyll and Heidi, Betty Mangler, Double Clutch, and Hawaiian Punch. Here we go! Back block is the call. Who's leaving? Number 75, uh, Hot Asset, 751. Grand Raggedy has passed the star three times so far. High block is the call on Black 21. That's Jekyll and Heidi on the high block. Black 2-9, stop block. Uh, black 1-9, Betty Watch it on the stop block. Oh, blue 2-9 on the stop block. That's Hawaiian Punch on the stop block. That is a Rulicon Grand Slam for Houston. And no points for Grand Raggedy. 70-24. to 24. Ten minutes and change showing here in the first period. 
Looks like Ginger Ninja number 45 is going to be jamming for Grand Raggedy and Daisy Jukes number 79 will be jamming for Houston. Both teams with one skater in the penalty box. Grand Raggedy's got Hawaiian Punch there. Houston's got Jekyll and Heidi there. So they're both working those wedges, those cheddar wedges. Boy, listen to those skates clatter on that polished concrete floor here at the UMW Panther Arena. And Lee Jammer goes to Daisy Jukes. Nothing, nothing, nothing doing. How about that? Just under nine minutes left here in this first period. We are going really, really quickly. Only one stoppage of play so far. That was the timeout called by Grand Raggedy. And we've got Lucy Morals, number 77, jamming for Grand Raggedy. We've got Engine, number 900, jamming for Houston. Lucy Morals leading the team in scoring, leading Grand Raggedy in scoring with 11 points. And Jen's got 15, but is not leading her team in scoring. Multiplayer block is the call on Betty Watchett. Black 900 engine on a back block, so this will be a uh, all about Derby Power Jam for Lucy Morals. And she picks up lead jam as Engine makes her way to the Rydell penalty box. So Lucy Morrow's looking for a roller con grand slam. And gets it. Oh, uh, no, hold on. Four points. No, that is all five. All five points of roller con grand slam for Lucy Morrow's. Nice block by number 19. Betty watch it. Forcing Lucy Morrow's to the outside. Both teams now making four walls. Everybody's back on the track. Five on five. Derby right now. 80 wheels a blazing. Black back block is the call on Betty Mangler. Jam gets called off by Lucy Morals. Supine on the infield. Picks up uh, nine points on that jam. So she's got 20 on the game, and they have 33, 70 to 33 on the uh, scoreboard. That's uh, Grand Raggedy's first lead jam in the last nine jams. Boy, they might need some new wheels uh, when they're done skating on this polished concrete floor. After the next set of whistles, we can tell you where they can get those new wheels. But for now, let's uh, take a look at Slayer Moon, number 91, jamming for Houston, and Ultra Fox, number 17, jamming for Grand Raggedy. Take the play-by-play. Play -play. Uh, We've got Ultra Fox, number 17, trying to work her way through the pack. She's pushing. She's on the inside. She's... I don't want to say too much. <laughs> She's fighting hard. She's going to get through. We've got Bat Mangler returning to the track to help out. And 2 one five from Houston returning to help out as well. Ultra Fox, lead jammer, and she calls it off. Nice job preventing Houston from scoring. So another set of zeros on the board. Score remains 70 to 33. Heading into jam number 19. Just under six minutes left to play here in the first period. Talking about where you can get some new wheels. Well, you could do worse than going to Rydell Skate, stocked by the radar booth, and register to win a free set of radar halo wheels. Thank you for your continued support of Midwest Brew Ha Ha. We've got Ginger Ninja, number 45, jamming for Grand Raggedy, and Slayer Moon, number 91, still jamming for Houston. Yeah, just released from that uh, Rydell penalty box. Picks up Lee Jammer going backwards. Ginger Ninja from Grand Raggedy is now through the pack. She is not Lee Jammer. Oh, 
And the jam is called. Houston picks up four more points, brings the score to 74 to 33. Entering Jam 21, we've got number 17, Ultra Fox, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And number 43, Diamond Cutter, jamming for Houston. The Rydell penalty box is empty, so we will all be going. Private Itchy starts us off, and here we go. Lead jammer just like that, Diamond Cutter. Tempo picking up as the teams enter the backstretch. One skater to beat at the top of the pack. That's number double zero, Betty Mangler. Oh, a forearm picked up by Diamond Cutter. So this jam will go the full two minutes. Private Itchy will let us know when it's over and nobody else. Death by Chocolate leaving the track. The ref's back was to me, so I didn't see the hand signal. Grand Raggedy has Lucy Morals, number 77, as their jammer, not Ultra Fox, number 17. Good catch, BJ. And she picks up a uh, Rollicon Grand Slam. Her second of the jam. We got a track cut on Blue Double Zero, Betty Mangler. Bet, Bet Mangler, sorry. <laughs> right, an, an homage to Bet Midler. Homage. Ooh, I learned a new word. And another Rollicon Grand Slam for Lucy Morals. For Lucy Morals. Lucy Morals tries the outside, but uh, two by force closes that door. Who's got the track cut? It is Blue 29, Hawaiian Punch, and uh, Private Itchy calls off the jam. Got an official review being requested by the Houston All-Stars. Just using it as a timeout. Appears the Houston is not sending anybody out to interact with the referees, so they're just using that official review as a timeout. So, you know, yeah, I'm again, I'm thinking about food. I just can't stop. I'm very interested in this. BB's Build a Breakfast, Build a Burger. There's something for everyone at Build a Breakfast, Build a Burger. You dream it, we build it. Get 10% off for your meal all day. When you mention brouhaha, happy hour specials from 3 to 6 p.m. Feature buy one, get one free appetizers. Rail drinks and call drinks. BB's is located at 633 West Wisconsin Avenue. Yeah, so close. And uh, the announcers had breakfast there this morning. I, gotta, I, I can highly recommend it. I can honestly highly recommend BB's as a place to go and get your sustenance. So the highest jam of the game so far for Grand Raggedy was just turned in by Lucy Morals. That's 17-point jam. She leads uh, Grand Raggedy scores with 37 points. In fact, she leads all scores with 37 points. High score for Houston is Diamond Cutter. We are in jam uh, number 22. BJ Tallywacker, who's jamming? We got Daisy Jukes, number 79, jamming for Houston. And we've got Ultra Fox, number 17, jamming for Grand Raggedy. We got a Track cut coming from the inside and a forearm coming from the outside. I think the track cut is on the jammer and the forearm is on 201 Dutch Destroyer. So Houston decimated by penalties in one fell swoop. Only jammer on the track, then number 17, Ultra Fox, and she picks up lead. Hawaiian Punch goes to the box for a 
Direction of gameplay penalty. And uh, Ultra Fox sees that Daisy Jukes had completed her initial pass, so she calls off the jam before any scoring can be accomplished. Five points were picked up by Grand Raggedy. That is a Rolicon Grand Slam. And the score is 82 to 55 in favor of Grand Raggedy. Grand Raggedy started slow, but they're making a bit of a comeback. We've got number 900, Engine, jamming for Houston, and number 45, Ginger Ninja, jamming for Grand Raggedy. Grand Raggedy has Hawaiian Punch in the box, otherwise both teams at full strength. Nice move, walking that inside uh, line like a Wallenda on a tightrope. Picking up lead jammer is Engine. High block is the call. That's on triple zero, Black Lung Betty. High block is the call. Who's leaving? Oh, my gosh. That's the grand raggedy jammer. That's uh, six jammer penalties for uh, – that's two penalty jammer penalties for grand raggedy. Houston does have five jammer penalties, but they also have the lead. That is a roller con grand slam picked up by NGen. And another Rolicon Grand Slam picked up by NGen. Oh. It's a nice attempt at blocking by Biddy Biddy Bang Bang. Nice hop, skip, and a jump move by Ginger Ninja. Matriculates through the pack. Three more points picked up by Houston. No points for Grand Raggedy. And uh, with that jam, with that 13-point jam, NGen becomes the high scorer for Houston. Still leading all scorers, number 77, Lucy Morals, with 37 points. And it is halftime, just like that. Wow, how the time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> yes, it does. Makes me want to go to the old German beer hall. They have such a great selection of German beer and festival food. You can experience authentic Bavaria at the old German beer hall. Enjoy 20% off your entire bill when you mention Brewhaha or the Brew City Bruisers. The old German beer hall is located at 1009 North Old World 3rd Street. You don't have to be an old German to go there but you might very well meet one. All right, it is halftime. About nine minutes. Come on back. We'll take you to the second half of the Houston All-Stars versus the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. One's got a hyphen, one does not.
All right, we are about, oh, we are about to draw names for the free passes to RollerCon. Who, what, who, which celebrity, which Derby celebrity can we get out here to draw those names? Why don't we have Chloroform Cupcake, our tournament head announcer, draw those numbers for us? I think it's an appropriate, fitting honor. Chloroform Cupcake is going to pick those winning numbers. And the winner does have to be present. So if you don't make a big whoop and holler, we're going to pick another winner. So here we go. Chloroform Cupcake. Draw that. Draw that ticket. Carney Johnson. Carney Johnson, can you hear me in this crowd right now? If you can. You've won tickets to RollerCon. Carney. Carney Johnson. Yeah, I will. That's a good All point. Right, we have two, so let's do one more. Thank you, guys. And Andrea Myers. Andrea Myers. I heard some sort of noise. Andrea Myers. You've won RollerCon tickets. Andrea Myers, Carney Johnson, you are winners for RollerCon. Someone go find your friends, because I'm going to announce it on the end of track one. All right, heading over to track one to announce it. Good luck. We've got just about three minutes before we start the second half here on track number two. Teams are making their way back to their benches. We want to sh give a little shout out to Sun Kia. That's spelled, that's got a funny spelling. It's X A N K I A, but it's pronounced Sun Kia. Now, they're not open today. I want to stress that they're not open today, so don't head over there. But if you're in town tomorrow, Head on over there tomorrow. You can get 15% off your entire bill. They have bon mi sandwiches, faux noodles. They're Milwaukee source for the freshest Vietnamese cuisine. Show your uh, credentials to receive the discount offer. They are located at 222 West Wells Street. But again, don't go today. Go tomorrow. Get yourself some delicious Vietnamese food from Sun Kia.
Okay. Can I do that one? I'd also like to give a shout out to Rivalry Sports Bar. Brouhaha brunch special offered on Saturday and Sunday with free Bloody Marys and free mimosas for all participants and fans at Rivalry Sports Bar on the River Town, River Downtown. Post hashtag Brouhaha brunch to Facebook or Twitter and receive an extra 10% off your bill. I guess brunch time is over. <laughs> it's kind of crunch time now. They are located in the third ward at 223 North Water Street. All right. Here's some statistics from our bout producer, Daddy Pants. There have been 23 jams in the first half. Grand Raggedy has had lead jammer seven times. Houston has had lead jammer 15 times. There was one jam with no lead jammer. High scores, uh, both high, uh, highest scoring jam. Uh, both teams have a 17-point jam. Uh, Grand Raggedy's uh, was turned in by number 77, Lucy Morals, and uh, Houston's was turned in by number 79, Daisy Jukes. Lucy Morals leads uh, all scores with 37 points and with 28 points, and Jen leads the scores for Houston. There are five jammer penalties called on Houston, and Grand Raggedy's had three star passes. Only one skater with any penalty box trouble. That's Hawaiian Punch with five trips to the box. Every other skater has three trips or fewer. In fact, only two skaters have three trips. That's Bet Mangler and Peyo Dues. Everybody else has two penalties or less. Second half is about ready to begin. Yes, BJ Tallywacker, who's jamming? Yes, we've got Engine, number 900, jamming for Houston. For Grand Raggedy, we have number 77, Lucy Morals. Both teams at full strength. Here we go. Oh, nice move on the inside. And Engine picks up lead jammer. And the jam is called. Grand Raggedy was able to uh, spring their jammer. Ginger Ninja, number 45, will be jamming for Grand Raggedy. Number 91, Slayer Moon, will be jamming for Houston. Again, both teams at full strength. Nice job by the Houston pivot, Black Lung Betty, to try and break up that Box formation at the top of the pack. Has to drop back to bridging, though, to keep her jammers in play to block Ginger Ninja. Now we got a penalty. Didn't see the call. It's a forearm. Forearm is the call on... Uh, Ringo Death Star. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. That is a Rolicon Grand Slam for Slayer Moon. Ginger Ninja recycling. I don't know if I should say that. I don't want to give away where they're at. If the other team knows, it's pretty obvious. Okay. Rollercon Grand Slam number two for Slayer Moon. And she has tied uh, NGen for most points scored by her team. And she just passed her. New jammer for Grand Raggedy is Peach Clobber. Another Rollercon Grand Slam. That is three on this set of whistles and counting. Clobber forced to the outside. She's going to have to re-engage. And she's clobbering, trying to clobber her way through that pack. There's a... Another roller con grand slam for Slayer Moon. And now she is the leading scorer of the game. She has overtaken Lucy Morals 37 points with 38 of her own. And the jam is called. 20 point jam by Slayer Moon. 23. 23 point jam by Slayer Moon. 
So she's got 41 points total on the game. Now the high scorer of the game. B.J. Tallywacker, who's on that jammer line? Well, Bobby Narco, we've got Diamond Cutter, number 43, jamming for the Houston All-Stars. And we've got Ultra Fox, number 17, jamming for the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. Grand Raggedy does pick up lead. Ultra Fox is your lead jammer. She's at the back of the pack because she was forced outside. Look at the energy they exert to try to get through that pack. Penalty waved off by the head referee. Oh, no, it's a forearm. Who's leaving on that forearm? Uh, Betty, that, watch it. Yeah, that would be number 19. Betty, watch it. Looked like it might have been a direction of play on Jekyll and Heidi. Not entirely sure of the call, but I do know Jekyll and Heidi's leaving. Yeah, direction of game play. Yeah, it was a direction of game play. Anybody sitting on the back stretch of track number two, if you want to help me out and throw the calls, just, just show me what the, the referees are doing. <laughs> But be honest. Don't tell you what to want them to be doing. Tell me what they're actually doing. Here we go. Who's jamming, BJ? Well, we're on jam number four, and we've got Daisy Jukes, number 79, jamming for Houston. We've got Lucy Morals, number 77, jamming for Grand Raggedy. She got lead. And Lucy Morals got lead. Oh, and a track cut. So this is going to be an all-about derby power jam. As oh. Daisy Jukes makes her way to the Rydell penalty box, and Lucy Morals picks up a RollerCon Grand Slam. And there's another one. Yep. Two RollerCon Grand Slams. Nice move on the inside. Nice move by number 75 to the 751 Hot Assets to close off that line, but only temporarily. That is three... Rollercon Grand Slams in a row. Oh no, Lucy Morals on a high block. So this jam will go the full two minutes. Number 29, Hawaiian Punch also picks up a penalty. That's her sixth. Penalty. That's a high block. Oh, let's see. One, two, three. That's a high. Nice blocking at the top of the pack by number 83. That's Ringo Death Star. And now some nice blocking by Gypsy Rose. But Daisy Jukes gets through for a Rollicon Grand Slam. Direction of play is the call on the skater who's leaving. That is number 31, two by force. And we have an official timeout. Both teams picking up grand slams on that uh, last set of passes. So the score is now 75 to 128. A 20 point jam there for Grand Raggedy. 10 points picked up by Houston. Hey, who's rooting for the All-Stars? <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Raggedy All-Stars are playing the Houston All-Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Took them a minute. <laughs> and number 29 skating through that tunnel. Blue number 29. Hawaiian Punch has fouled out of the game. Who's going to be serving her penalty? Oh, I guess this penalty's already done. So, say goodbye to Hawaiian Punch. Great skating, though. She skated in 15 jams. BJ Tallywacker, who is jamming right now? 
We've got Ginger Ninja, number 45, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And for Houston, we've got number 900, Engine. Both teams employing that wedge defense. Lead jammer goes to Ginger Ninja. Rollercon Grand Slam for Ginger Ninja. New jammer for the Houston All-Stars is Black Lung Betty. Nice blocking by Houston at the back of the pack. That's Death by Chocolate. And number 201, Death Dutch Destroyer. Unable to prevent further scoring. So, eight points picked up by Grand Raggedy. No points for Houston. 128 to 83. And we have a timeout by Houston. Houston timeout. 22 minutes and 11 seconds left here in the second period. I mean, I have watched other games, but I... In Grand Rapids? According to Flat Tracks, for every 12 points that Grand Raggedy scores, Madison is expected to score 35. They haven't played each other since 2013. Of course, they're not playing each other now. Houston just beat North Coast, St. Chuck's, at Ohio at the 2017 Skate to Thrill. PJ Tallywacker, who's heading out to that jammer line? Well, Bobby Narco, we've got number 17, Ultra Fox, jamming for Grand Raggedy, and number 91, Slayer Moon, jamming for Houston. Nice move on the inside. Great hip check at the top of the pack. Picked up a penalty on that. Gypsy Rose did. Might have been a stop block. It was a low block. Yes, it was a low block. And Slayer Moon calls off the jam. Picks up four points. 132 to 83. Looks like Bat Mangler, take that back. Looks like Diamond Cutter, number 43, is going to be jamming for Houston. And we have an official timeout. Uh, but just for fun, that's Lucy Morales out there, number 77, jamming for Grand Raggedy. The score of 132 to 83 corresponds to the zip code for Syracuse, New York. 13283. If you want to send a letter to Syracuse, New York, just copy the, the number off the scoreboard. All right, the official timeout is over. All the points are right. All the penalties are right. Everything you see on the scoreboard is accurate. And now, out on the jammer line, Diamond Cutter going up against Lucy Morals. And Diamond Cutter picks up Lee Jammer before she even hits that pivot line. Nice move! Diamond Cutter slicing through the pack. Diamond Cutter finds that inside line virtually untouched. Picks up another Rollercon Grand Slam. Her second of this set of whistles. Blue zero zero forearm is the call on Bet Mangler.
Diamond Cutter just putting together a game. Direction of play is the call on uh, number 31. That is two by force. Ooh. Big spill on the back stretch. Yeah, I heard that one. I think the day has bounced a little bit. <laughs> two more points picked up by Diamond Cutter. A 17 point jam for her. And look at her challenging her team's lead for highest points. Diamond Cutter sitting on 43 for her team. Slayer Moon's got 45. Leading all scorers number uh, with 57 points is number 77, Lucy Morals. Who's jamming right now, B.J. Tallywagger? Well, looks like we've got Daisy Jukes, number 79, jamming for Houston. And 50, Matt Mangler, 0, zero jamming for Grand Raggedy. Not normally a jammer. <laughs> Through me. Grand Raggedy down one. Uh, Houston down one blocker. And now the teams are at full strength. A forearm penalty. That's uh, death by chocolate called on the forearm. Lead jammer finally awarded after 45 seconds. That lead jammer goes to Daisy Jukes. And the jam is called off. Four points picked up by Houston. They've scored 58 points in the second half so far. 153 to 83, a 70 point lead for Houston. 18 minutes and change left to go. We're going to have an official timeout. Official timeout. So while we're having that official timeout, let's give a shout out to Rydell Skates. Proud sponsor of the Midwest Brouhaha. Visit the Rydell booth to try on the all-new Solaris. The Rydell Solaris, the performance you demand, the comfort you've been missing. So Houston uh, outscoring Grand Raggedy 58-12. to 12. Grand Raggedy has gone scoreless in the last three jams. Skates just don't fit right. Don't let foot heel slippage mess with your game. Check out bruised skate straps. They wrap around your boot and plate to keep your feet in place. So you can improve your agility. Be better with bruised skate straps. So... Wondering what this official timeout was for? I can assure you that everything you see on the scoreboard is accurate. Grand Raggedy has Ultra Fox number 17 jamming, and Houston has number 900 engine. Forearm is the penalty. Who's leaving? I would say that's number 21. 21, indeed. Jekyll and Heidi leaving on a forearm. And Jen is the lead jammer. Hits the pack, gets her way through, and calls it off. A four-point small slam. Trivia question, where does the term grand slam come from? Where do we get the term grand slam, meaning all the points? In baseball, it's four points. In roller derby, it's five points. But a term comes to us from Contract Bridge. Contract Bridge brings you the term Grand Slam. You take all 13 tricks in bridge. That is a Grand Slam. Now we have an official review asked for by Houston. Houston All-Stars seeking an official review. I was going to say Denny's. <laughs> Denny's, the Grand Slam breakfast? Well, one of everything. You get it all. 
Apparently, I just can't stop thinking about food. I don't know what my problem is, but. Whist, the, the, the precursor of bridge, might also have grand slams. You might also be able to get a grand slam in whist. 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 Great word if you're playing hangman because the only vowel is a Y. W-H-Y-S-T. Kind of like using rhythm when you're playing hangman. You stump everybody with whist, rhythm, and links. Or if you need to clear your throat, whist. Whist. I think it's getting near the end of the day. I'm getting a little loopy. Yeah, a little punchy right here. Tilo's going to tell us what this official review is about, uh, and we'll let you know as soon as we do. Hey, let's send some love to our referees. Show some love to the people in the black and white stripes. Yeah. And don't forget those people in the pink and black kits. Those are your non-skating officials. Show some love to the folks in pink and black. Of course, we couldn't do this without our emergency medical technicians. Send them some love as well. They're sitting over there in turn number two. We love you, EMTs. We're glad we haven't needed you this bout so far. And, of course, all the volunteers here at uh, Midwest Brew Haha 2017, show some love to the volunteers. You know, I really need to get up there and do some shopping. I am just so curious about this Persephone's Treasures. I want something sparkly. Got to get up to that annex and check them out. I've got two sparkly things waiting for me at Persephone's Treasures when this bout is over. I got a, a T-shirt for myself and a T-shirt for a friend of mine. Are they sparkly? Yeah. What do you got? What's, uh, what's the official review? Black requested a um, review of a Nintendo penalty on the Jammer 174. Oh, okay. I don't know if you want to use Larry, but Nintendo penalty. Okay. And, and play stands or skulls? Um, no. Black wanted it called on blue. Okay. Houston wanted a misconduct penalty called on the Grand Raggedy Jammer for something she said. And that was granted, so Grand, uh, Houston will retain their official review. And the Grand Raggedy Jammer, who is Ultra Fox, is in the penalty box. Slayer Moon, the only jammer on the track right now. Clarifying, she said something she shouldn't have to someone she shouldn't have. A four-letter word to a referee. Oh, to another skater. Uh, sorry, I stand corrected. Four points picked up by Slayer Moon. Call picked up on Black 31. Anybody see it? Black Two by 31. Fours. Looks like Black 31 got a direction of gameplay. That penalty is a direction of gameplay. Thank you, BJ oh. Tallywalker and Rinkster. That's a Rolicon Grand Slam, and the jam is called off. 19 points picked up there by Slayer Moon. Holy cow. She is now leading all scores with 67 points. On the back of that 19 point jam, a 22 point jam. Yeah. Woo! 179 to 85. We've got Just Diamond Cutter, number 43, jamming for Houston, and Ginger Ninja, number 45, jamming for Grand Raggedy. Here we go. Forearm is the penalty on the Grand Raggedy Pivot Peach Clobber. Yeah. 
Direction of play is the penalty on Black 3-1, two by force. Diamond Cutter hits that box defense and goes down. She is so sparkly. Even her skates are sparkling. They got, they got lights on them. She's sparkly, and she's also brilliant by it like a diamond. She took off as much time as she could, knowing that the score is in her favor. She wound down the clock as much as she could, called it off only when the other jammers started approaching the back of the pack. So brilliant diamond there. Looks like Houston took on another four points in that jam, bringing their total to 183. Grand Reggae at 85. 98-point lead. We've Jam got Lucy Morals, number 77, jamming for Grand Reggae, and Daisy Jukes, number 79, jamming for Houston. Lead jammers, Daisy Jukes. Just over 13 minutes left to play. New jammer for uh, Grand Raggedy is Gypsy Rose, and there's a direction of play penalty called on the skater that's leaving. That is number 74. 74, BB Queen. BB Queen. Only her second penalty. Four points picked up there by Houston. So they have a 102-point lead. In the last 12 jams, there have been nine leads by Houston. That's this whole period. 12 jams in this period. Houston's got lead three quarters of the time. Looks like we've got uh, Peach Clabber, number 22, jamming for Grand Raggedy, and number 900, Engine, jamming for Houston. And lead jammer goes to Engine. So this is Peach Clobber's first time starting out wearing the star. She has jammed before when she received the star. Oh, and the new jammer for Grand Rabbit is Double Clutch. Oh, we got a jammer penalty. Throw me that jammer penalty one more time. Throw me that jammer penalty one more time. And Jen to the penalty box on an unknown penalty. It's a back block. Thank you, Phil Doe. High block is the call on Black 215. Pay your dues. All kinds of skaters on the infield. That puts the pack in retrograde. Nice move on the outside. Great job by number 83, Ringo Death Star, closing off that outside line. Black Lung Betty heading over to that Rydell penalty box. Oh, oh huge hit by Payo Dues. Heads to the penalty box for it. Might have been a uh, stop block or a direction of play. Oh, it's a high block. Both teams pick up four points on that last set of passes. We have an official timeout. Ten minutes and 25 seconds remaining here. And don't forget, there is a free Brouhaha photo booth in the merch area. Find your photos on our Facebook page. Don't forget to grab your free Brouhaha game, a copy of any game. For $10, you can order a game or on DVD at the Bruisers Merch Booth, and your DVD will be mailed within the month. 
Hey, when injury strikes, you do have a choice. Choose ATI Physical Therapy, the official sports medicine provider for the Bruce City Bruisers. That's ATI. Official review is to apparently to clarify penalties. Just looked up at the scoreboard and noticed that the Houston All-Stars have hit the two-century mark. 200 points exactly. A 111-point lead. Slayer Moon right now leading all scorers with 67 points. Lucy Morals has 57 points for Grand Raggedy. Other high scorers, uh, let's see. Uh, Diamond. Diamond Cutter's got 47. Engen's got 45. Daisy Jukes has 41 over on the Grand Raggedy side. Uh, like I said, Lucy Morals has 57. Ash uh, Ultra Fox has 12. And Ginger Ninja has 10. After party tonight, uh, following the very last bout, we'll be at the Pub Club. So head on over to the Pub Club. All right, uh, the official review is over. We're underway. We'll tell you more about where that Pub Club is. We've got a forearm and a multiplayer. I think the multiplayer supersedes the forearm. That's on Bitty Bitty Bang Bang. Lead Jammer goes to Slayer Moon. Grand Raggedy Jammer is Ginger Ninja. High block is the call on double zero, Bet Mangler. So the uh, pub club where the uh, after party tonight is 1103 North Old World 3rd Street right here in Milwaukee. A long time to say and a short time to walk. Right around the corner, the pub club, 1103 North Old World 3rd. Tonight's after party immediately following the main event over on track one at 7 p.m. BJ Tallywacker, who's jamming? Well, we've got number 43, Diamond Cutter, jamming for Houston. For Grand Raggedy, we've got number 77, Lucy Morals. And Diamond Cutter picks up lead jammer. Multiplayer block is the call on Black 7. Black. Uh oh. Blue 73. On Blue, 83. 83. 83. Sorry. <laughs> Rigo Death Star. Got a high block. Who's got that high block? Number three, Blue 7-7, seven, seven, Lucy Morals. Jammer's number 14, Gypsy Rose on a star pass. And Greg Raggedy picks up two points, bringing them closer to the century mark. Houston picks up 10. It's 214 to 92. Eight and a half minutes left to play. And with that being said, Grand Raggedy has Ultra Fox, number 17, on the track to jam. And Houston has Daisy Jukes, number 79. And we got another official timeout. Both teams have a blocker in the penalty box for Grand Raggedy. It's Ringo Death Star. For Houston, it's Speedo, and Speedo is donning the pivot cover. She's not just wearing it. She's donning it. 
Yes. <laughs> she will doff it when she's done with it. She doth don the pivot cover. Timeout called for and received by the Grand Raggedy All Stars. <clears throat> Remaining action left here at Brouhaha. They got Providence uh, against Minnesota Nice at 6 o'clock over uh, uh, right here on this track. And then at 7 o'clock, we're going to have the Brew City All-Stars against Rage City, the main event. And then, of course, after that, the Rockin' After Party at Pub Club. You know, Rage City is from Anchorage, Alaska, and I was just up there a couple weeks ago. And I had no idea they would be here. I was so excited when I saw their picture on the wall at Applebee's. Nice. Looks like we're getting ready to... In this half, Grand Raggedy has six star passes. Houston has one. B.J. Tallywalker, speaking of star passes, who's wearing the stars right now? Well, right now I see number 17, Ultra Fox, on the track for Grand Raggedy, and I see number 79, Daisy Jukes, for Houston. And you know what's going to happen with the lead jammer is not the jammer in the lead. Jam's going to get called off. Nothing, nothing. Great job by Lucy Morals forcing the call off. Triple O is going to be the jam. No, that's 900. And Jen going to jam for the Houston All-Stars. And, and Ginger Ninja, number 45 for Grand Raggedy. You want to do it? Big two wall at the top of the pack. No, big three wall at the top of the pack. Both teams working these defensive triangles. Nice job by Speedo, the Houston pivot, to break up that wedge at the top of the pack, enabling Engen to pick up lead jammer. Now Death by Chaka comes in, starts moving skaters around too, as if they were chess pieces. You go here, you go here, checkmate, and her jammer's through. That is a Rollercon Grand Slam for Engen. Oh, and uh, 77, Lucy Morals heading to the penalty box. She's going to be joined by Jin, by Ginger. Oh, there we go. Ginger was just forced to the outside. Another roller cran, roller con grand slam picked up by Engen. And Jam is called. She gets a total of 12 points, bringing the Houston total to 226. Grand Raggedy sitting on 92. There will be just under six minutes to play when the next jam begins. Only two blockers on the track for the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. Houston at full strength. Got Ultra Fox, number 17, out there again jamming. And Slayer Moon, number 91 for Houston. Lead jammer goes to Slayer Moon. Oh, we got the pivot for Grand Raggedy leaving the track. That's Sugar Pants. Rollercon Grand Slam picked up by Slayer Moon. Houston also leaving a blocker to the Rydell penalty box. Slayer Moon's got two Rydell Grand Slams. Now that's... Three, uh, two Rydell Grand Slams and one small slam. So 14 points on that jam, 240 to 92. And Grand Raggedy scored seven points in the last seven jams. This half, Houston has, the, has won lead jammer 14 times. So Houston really turning on the gas in the second half. 
They've scored 135 points in the second half. No, 145 points in the second half. Grand Raggedy has scored 38, 37. We've got Diamond Cutter, number 43, jamming for Houston. And Ginger Ninja, number 45, jamming for Grand Raggedy. Lee Jammer is Diamond Cutter. Diamond Cutter calls the jam. Picks up two. Is that two? Ginger. Two points for black, one point for blue. And that's uh, Grand Raggedy's first points in eight jams. That one point breaks an eight jam scoreless streak, 242 to 93. Now that that well is broken, maybe Grand Raggedy could pile some more points on. Three and a half minutes left to play. Grand Raggedy seven points away from the century mark. Here we go. Lucy Morals, number 77, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And Daisy Jukes, 79, jamming for Houston. Nice job by blue number 83, Ringo Death Star, guarding that outside line. And Bitty Bitty Bang Bang is going to guard that inside line. Isn't that fun to say, Bitty Bitty Bang Bang? It is. <laughs> and there's a, a Rollicon Grand Slam for Lucy Morals. Direction of play, who's leaving? That is blue number three, Speedo, on the direction of play. First time Grand Raggedy's had the lead in seven jams. Back in retrograde. Now we're moving in the derby direction. Nice try at the top of the pack by Betty Watch It. But hey. Lucy Morals gets through for a right L Grand Slam. Lucy Morals calls it. Four nothing. Timeout by Houston. Hey, and Grand Raggedy's up over the century mark. Put your hands together for the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. <laughs> music. I think that's the first time today I've heard music. How about that? Let's get a little dance party started. There you go. Help us out in section 207. All right, section 206. They've, they've cast the die. Now you got to dance a little bit too. So I don't know. 207's winning. Nobody else is dancing at all. Oh, I don't know. I see some of the skaters out there getting their groove on. That's true. That's true. Who's warming up down there? That's Minnesota. Minnesota's hooking and juking. <laughs> Shucking and jiving. <laughs> Appears to be both teams at full strength. No, one jammer missing. No, both teams at full strength. 80 wheels a blazing. Here we go. BJ, who's jamming? We've got number 17, Ultra Fox, jamming for Grand Raggedy. And number 900, Engine, jamming for Houston. 900, Engine takes the lead. Elbow call comes in on black 201. That is Dutch Destroyer for an elbow. Der Ellenbogen in Dutch. Oh, it, Houston calls it. <clears throat> she got a, uh, what is he giving her? Four, five, four points. Small slam. All the points save one. <clears throat> 
Lining up on the track, we've got number 77, Lucy Morals for Grand Raggedy, and number 91, Slayer Moon for Houston. Less than a minute on the clock. This could very well be the last jam of this game. Grand, uh, Houston's got one skater in the penalty box, Grand Raggedy at full strength. Nice job by Ginger Ninja forcing Slayer Moon to the outside, making her re-engage from the back of the pack. One skater to beat at the top of the pack. Now it's a two-wall. Now it's a three-wall. Yeah, but she gets through. Halfway through that back stretch, Lucy Morals is your lead jammer. Pivot Ginger Ninja heading to the penalty box. She's going to be joined by number 17, Acupuncture. Jam is called. Four points picked up by Grand Raggedy. And that is an unofficial final. 246 to 111, the unofficial final score. That's not mine. That's mine. So, uh, all the, yeah, and now the final is official, 246 to 111. Let's get a victory lap for the Houston Roller Derby All-Stars. Victory lap, victory lap, Houston Roller Derby All-Stars. Hey, welcome. It's on the back of your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And let's get a consolation lap for the team from Grand Rapids, Michigan, the Grand Raggedy All-Stars. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Great job, though. Wonderful production. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Thank Wonderful you for your help. All right. Well, that'll do it over here for 